Okay, I'm just uh, going to tie on some thread on a size 10 dry fly hook for an extended body damsel. And uh, I'm just going to wrap on some thread. And I'm going to take this about halfway down the, the uh, shank of the hook. We're not going to use the back half. And I'm going to introduce the body of the fly up to this point. I'm just going to tie this one down with a few wraps and blue thread. And so it's just braided leader which we've painted with a sharpie. And uh, I'm just going to trim off the excess. Leave it a little flat there so we uh, don't get too much of a step. And it also helps keep the, the fly secure. Now I'm going to tie on the foam which we're going to use as a, a thorax cover. Just got a piece of black foam here. Just going to bring this one up and we're going to cut it to shape afterwards. Uh, tie that one down. We're going to put the hackle over the top of this. And we're going to make for the legs. So the hackle we've got here, I've got some blue done. So I'm going to strip off the parts that I don't use and bring that one up to the fly. And then we're going to trim off the excess. And I have some mono eyes that uh, are made just by melting some 30 pound brown mono. I'm going to tie those in with a figure eight at this point. Just a little bit further back. Try not to crowd the eye of the hook too much. Just with some figure eight turns. It's fine, I'm going to come back a little bit. I'm going to take the hackle pliers and I'm going to wrap these for the legs and some extra support to keep the damselfly afloat. I'm going to be pretty generous with the legs, we can always trim them back later. So try not to trap too many of the hackles. And we're going to tie that one down. That's basically the legs and the Now I'm going to take some Antron, I'm going to put some Antron on here for the wings. I'm just going to take about an inch of Antron. I'm going to tie this on with a figure eight also. I'm going to move the hackle out of the way, pull it back a little. And we're just going to figure eight this one up too. Don't worry about the length, we can trim it to size afterwards. Just want to enough to secure it into place. So that's two forward, two back. And I'm going to wind this thread forward again. Just even up these eyes slightly. Okay, I'm going to tie off just behind the, the eye. And I'm going to bring the foam forward, spread the hackle down for the legs and the wings. Just bring this foam forward over. Try and keep the it between the two eyes. And then we'll tie that one down over, over the eye shank. And then we can trim off the excess foam. Leave a little bit of a tag the float and then we can use a multiple turn four turn whip finish on the back behind the eyes and that is most of the tying done now we're going to take this one off we're going to even up the wings try not to leave the wings too long and there's no point leaving a long wing because number one, it's just going to twist the leader, and number two, it's really only for profile. So we're going to trim this one down. And then we've got a little bit of profile on wing. We've got some nice legs for the body, variegated pattern, good sized thorax, and some th and some mono eyes. And that's an extended body damsel. Fantastic. We'll pull that out and just have a quick look at the other side of the profile. Yeah, look at that. Some people cut the uh, hackle back a little bit. That's perfect. 
That's one hell of a pattern you tied just then. Very fishy. Good tie.